What's up everyone? Welcome to an unboxing episode of something that just came uh, with a post. So this is the new Winspace Agile frame that's been sent to me and I thought um, we'll be unboxing it together to see what's in the box, what are the first impressions and then of course um, yeah over the next couple of weeks there will be of course a video where I'm going to be building this up but let's first unbox it and have a look at the quality and the overall first impression of this frame. Let's go! So let's get those plastic straps off here. I mean, first of all, this package feels super light, um, which is not really surprising because it is supposed to be um, a rather lightweight kind of all around frame. So um, something where it seems the bike industry is going these days. So aero design, but still very lightweight. So um, yeah, I'm very curious to see how this frame actually feels once it's out of the box. So let me cut all those wind space tapes here. All right, okay, so what do we have in the box? First of all, I see another box in the box. Let's open that one up. In here we have parts for um, the seat post, seat post clamps. We have uh, headset covers, different ones. So I guess we're gonna see which one we're gonna be using once uh, yeah, we start building up the bike. Um, of course, the bearings. What else do we have here? We have a couple of couple of spacers in here the cool or the nice kind which you can split in two as it seems yes so it's easy to take spacers on and off um, even though if you have already your cables routed through the internal setup what else do we have in here through axle for the front through axle for the rear and expander plug so, okay, so these are the small little pieces. Let me put that off to the side. What else do we have here? So, let's get the packaging off. I mean, it feels ridiculously light, which is great. Okay, very well packed. So, let's, I think we actually don't need to cut those because I think this is like paper tape, yes. And yeah, just to be completely transparent, Windspace has reached out and um, yeah, sent this sent this frame to me free of charge um, to basically set it up and create one of my bike build videos. Um, but of course, no money has been exchanged. Um, we haven't agreed on what I'm going to be saying. They're going to be seeing the video at the very same time that you're actually seeing it. And um, of course, if I find anything that seems concerning, I'll definitely let you know, because why wouldn't I? I mean, so yeah, let's get the rest off here. Last piece of tape, oh, last piece of foam. There we go. So frame wise, this looks really, really nice. I'd love to see another T47, um, so seems to be a pattern with the recent bikes that I've been building. Now, finally, after my last um, build, I'm understanding the standard a little better. I mean, the standard that has standards within its standards. Um, but yeah, this is an L size now. I mean, look at that dropped stay here. Really, really nice. Um, so yeah, let me add some close-ups. It is very interesting. There is a nice texture. There is, it is basically a full white paint, but you still have some kind of white splashes still on top of it that add a little bit of depth to the paint job. Um, but yeah, you really have to look close to actually notice it. And yeah, it's very nice. A very nice little detail uh, in regards to that. And then, yeah, let me get the fork out. So here we have a seat post, also nice that is completely painted white. So it's not a black unpainted seat post, which is gonna just yeah make it all more integrated, giving it a nice unibody kind of look. And then there is the fork. Fork also has the same paint job with yeah the white, almost like paint splashy detail on it. Very, very nice. Thank you. 
This is pretty much how it's going to be looking, I guess, with the seat post sticking out, of course, a bit further than that. I think this is a really, really nice looking frame. And um, yeah, let me get my scale out and actually hang it on the scale so we can see what the actual weight is of uh, yeah, the individual components and the whole frame together. All right, let's put the scale on and drop the frame on here. So the frame is 1033 grams for a size L. That's pretty impressive, I gotta say, for an aero frame. Now, let's put on the seat post with the clamp on top as well. This one is 84 grams and and last, let's put on the uncut fork. Uncut fork is 485 grams. Really nice. All right, so let's talk quickly general first impressions. Um, I mean, when I'm examining all the holes that I can at least access so far right now, um, they look very, very clean. There is also no overspray of paint. On here in the bottom bracket area everything looks super super clean inside but I also ordered an endoscope um, so basically for the full bike build video we're actually gonna kick it off with uh, yeah a little endoscope kind of session seeing how it looks on the inside but at least around the openings everything looks very very clean and very very smooth but I mean I'm also not a carbon expert so um, I mean who am I telling you that but yeah in a noob's eye and in a noob's eye perspective this looks very very nice what i just quickly want to have a look at is if i put in the bearings um yeah the the headset bearings on the top and on the bottom if they're wobbling around or not um or if they're sitting tight so i get the bearing in here slotting this in but yeah there is no no moving around so that's nice on the top let me try the bottom as well so let's have a look at the bottom one here if i drop in the bearing yeah there's also no movement here so that is really really nice i would say also when i look at the mounting positions for the brakes everything is nice and phased off there's no paint overspray here so everything at least looks very nice and flat so shouldn't cause any issues let's quickly have a look at the fork also here everything is nicely faced off no paint over spray on the mounts so it should be fairly easy to actually mount the brakes on here and uh, yeah not having to deal with uh, tricky disc brake alignment i would say so yeah this is the windspace agile frame really looking forward to be building this up to see um, what the weight is actually going to be um, i'm going to be setting this up with my favorite chinese electronic group set being um, yeah the l2 erx as you might have noticed from my other videos already so um, yeah i would say that this is going to be it for this quick unboxing and first look first impression first impression to sum it up, really, really positive. Um, nothing worrying here. It's just the excitement level is really high to build this up. So um, yeah, I hope to drop this build video in the next two to three weeks. And uh, then I also hope that the sun is gonna come out so I can do some proper rides and tests with it outside. So yeah, if you um, yeah wanna find out more about this frame uh, or if you have any questions or suggestions what to look out for in the build or what you um, yeah want to have in-depth info on the build, just drop um, the questions or feedback in the comments and I'll try to cover this in the build video. So with that, I would say uh, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, uh, don't forget to hit that like button. And um, yeah, I would say I'll see you in the next one. Bye.